Pieces of rock rain down like death from the skies, killing three instantly in Budumburam after a rock blast. This rock here, I will be calling in this story the cursed rock. It fell on the head of one Thomas Kofi in Budumbram, splashed his head, and blood was oozing profusely, according to residents here. This heap of sand has been used to cover his blood stains. You come to this part as well, and you see that the blood stains are very much visible here as well. We have been told by the eyewitnesses that this metal fence was as even as this before the rock forcefully penetrated through this angle from the skies after the blast situation happened along the Budumbram Winneba stretch. This has thrown most of the residents here in Big Apple down in the dams. Georgina Bamfo was helpless. Her hands were drenched in her father's blood. She had just watched him slip away in her arms, calling desperately to neighbors for help. The daughter of Thomas Kofi, she could not do anything but scream in agony as her father took his last breath. We realized the ground was shaking and tried to run into the room with my dad, but he suddenly laid on me with his hands around my waist. I quickly ran, I returned and saw him under the table bleeding profusely. A seven-month-old baby, too young to comprehend the disaster, has been crying since the explosion. Seven months old baby Bianca has not been spared from the incident that happened yesterday. According to her mother, some pieces of rock fell on her right leg and also on her head as well. She has been crying since I got here and she's been transferred from the St. Gregory Hospital to another facility for an x-ray to be conducted to know exactly what has happened to her right leg. <laughs> My husband and the baby were sleeping when we heard a noise like stones. Some fell on the baby's leg and head. At St. Gregory Catholic Hospital in Budumburam, more than 45 victims were admitted on Monday, October 13, following the devastating blast. By the first day, 34 victims with minor injuries had been discharged, but 13 remain under close watch. 24-year-old Rosemond Abedu, who runs a hair salon at the Budumbra market, was caught off guard when pieces of rock burst through her ceiling, sending debris crashing into her shop. She recalls the moment with disbelief, wondering how a seemingly distant blast could wreak such havoc. I was in, I saw the stones coming. So I went and hide myself at the corner there. So after the stones finished coming, I was coming out to see what's happened. And then I, the one stone hit at my back and I fell. I was shouting, I was screaming. And then another stone hit at my back too. So I couldn't talk again. Shaibu Yusuf, a butcher at the same market, was also among those who narrowly escaped the deadly flying rocks. I was sleeping in the corridor when I heard the noise and decided to wake up. Unfortunately, I met a stone that hit my head. The hospital's administrator, Mathias Ayagri Anaba, says his team is doing everything they can to manage the situation. 47 were received. Out of this 47, I want to repeat that, only three died. Three died. Four were referred. Two to 37 military hospital, two to Wienemba uh, trauma. Right. Then we discharged 34. As of this morning, we are left with 13 patients. Residents of Budumbram claim this is not the first time rock blasting has endangered their lives. The blasts have often damaged homes, leaving behind holes in walls and fear in their hearts. This time, however, the rocks have taken more than property. They've taken lives.
The road construction site where the rock blast originated is now deserted, abandoned in the aftermath of the tragedy. The Ministry of Roads and Highways says it is working with the Ghana Police Service and ADMO to determine the number of casualties and provide necessary care. The ministry highlighted that 21 previous controlled blasts at the site had been carried out without incident and assured the public of a thorough investigation with findings to be disclosed later. Godwin Asidiba, TV3 News.